Most high-end collision and production shops have switched to a UV or waterborne primer. The reason why is they're doing small spot repairs and they can cure today and paint today and it really speeds up that cycle time. But does waterborne or UV have a place in the restoration and hot rod world? Probably not, but there is one situation. Let's say you're going to a, a big show and you're on a tight deadline. You have 30 days to get the car painted and, and get it there. And it's in the booth, ready to go, and you're 30 days out. You're wiping the car down and you come across a small dent. What do you do? Normally, we would pull it out of the booth, bump it, metal finish it, prime it, wait a week or two, and then paint the car. And that's really gonna put us behind the eight ball. With UV and water, in one of those weird situations, I could bump the dent, I could prime it, cure it that day, still paint the vehicle that day, and not miss our deadline. So it's an interesting scenario. What product works best for you is ultimately up to you and your shop and what's best for your customers. But I think a lot of people need to really take a hard look at UV and waterborne in the collision industry.